Ahoy fellow Vita comrades and welcome to your regular homebrew content. Today we got amazing update, new emulator has just been released called Yoyo Loader Vita, so without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First and foremost, huge thanks to Rinicatamente for making it happen, it's greatly appreciated. Now what is Yoyo Loader you may ask? Yoyo Loader is a loader for libyoyo.so, the official Game Maker Studio runner application for Android, but ported to the PS Vita. Yoyo Loader works by loading such AMV7 executable in memory, resolving its imports with native functions and patching it in order to properly run. So more or less it works uh, basically like the Flow's original Android.so loader and potentially this enables us to run any game made with Game Maker Studio which is incredible and mind-blowing and it just makes me wonder how much further we can push the Vita because right now it seems sky's the limit. For PC slash console exported games you will need to perform an asset swap. To find out more please check out the official GitHub release page where it's all accurately explained. Setup instructions are same like for Android, install the Yoyo loader, install the plugins, fdfix, kubridge, libshack g and then just place the .apk files inside the data slash gms folder and voila job done, you can play all the compatible games. And which ones are they you may ask? To find out you just click on the compatibility list website yoyo.renegatamente.it Right now there are 9 playable games out of 22 listed and I'm sure more will be added as the time will go on. These 9 games are playable at the time of making of this video, 10th April 2022. First and the best one is of course M2R, then Apoch Runner, Detective Case and Clown Bot in Murder in the Hotel Lisbon, Flippy, Maltida Castle, Peace Death, Pix Hop, Thunder Runner and Undertale Disbelief Demo. You can click on the game to find out if there are any issues with it. For example, many options menu or changing the language will crash the game or in M2R you will find out you gotta tick the option to use fake windows as platform in order for this physical Vita buttons to work. If started without it, the game will run with touch and on screen overlay so make sure to tick the box to enjoy it as intended. From my short experimenting, all games run very well in native Vita resolution, and 2R runs also in 60fps, and it is all absolutely mind blowing, and pleasure to behold, or rather pleasure to be witness of. And I also feel this revolutionary emulator is another pillar of hope for some more great games to be ported or to be playable over at the PS Vita. I know many games will end up crashing or will be unplayable, but it doesn't matter as there are many quality games made in Game Maker Studio, so there is plenty to choose from. All in all, I'm very excited for this release and I'll keep a very close eye on it for upcoming playable games, so make sure to subscribe to not miss any of it, cause I'm sure developers are working very hard even right now to test more games to see how they perform. One more time, big up to the Rin, Flow, Johnny and Flame, 1131, your hard work paid off and now we can all savor its fruits. Thumbs up! That would be it for this video. I'm sure I'll be making more videos with your loader. So if you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Check all the links down below, especially the affiliate ones to support the channel. Follow me on socials. I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.